Hi, welcome to Weekly Rations, where we show you how to live for a week every week. My name is Mark Franklin Williams, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make leftover pasta. Well, I guess technically I'm going to be showing you how to take pasta that was once left over and turn it into something that is now, present day, a modern day delicious pasta dish thing stuffer. Can we fit all that on a title card? Let me say this to start. This one isn't going to be that fancy. It's the opposite of fancy. I'm going to go with pansy. This one's going to be pansy. That's because you don't need pasta sauce to make delicious pasta. You just need salt, pepper, and oil. Also hope. First, age your pasta in a fine metal cask for a fortnight. Ah, tetanus. Next, chop some leftover veggies and throw them in a pan with some oil. I'm using baby carrots because these are the carrots that I stole from work. The only thing better than cheap food is free food. You're going to want to heat them until they're warm all the way through. This is going to take a second, but it's not exactly the type of thing you can just leave on the hot plate and forget, so I use the time to come up with some dope cooking rhymes. I'm behind the pan and I'm making some pasta. Past the pepper shaker, gonna take the stick off of this meal. Check my reel, see my skill with the steel as I slice peels, make this dinner a deal. What? When the applause dies down, throw in your pasta. You're gonna be frying this, so add in some oil, but don't go crazy. We are gonna be cooking this for about, let's say, five minutes. Five to ten minutes. What you're looking for is the color to take on a nice golden hue. Next, add some salt and pepper to taste. I like to go overboard with the pepper, but hold back on the salt because apparently sodium is bad for you or some shit. Now you're gonna notice that the previously icky white disgusting pasta has taken on a nice golden color. Congratulations, that means you get to live for another week. Maybe. Now obviously you can throw whatever you want into this. Sometimes I like to do chicken and a little bit of lemon juice. Or you could do uh, spinach and garlic. I'm sure you have some great ideas too. Throw those down in the comments. Also, don't forget to visit BrokeGeats.com to submit your recipes and join the growing community there. Finally, follow us on Twitter at BrokeEats and you can violate my own personal tweet box at MarkFW. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go eat this while watching a socio-political documentary and thinking dirty thoughts about Japanese robots. I'll see you all next week.